Alright, we start random weekly shroom number 50 and that's a special one because not just a nice number it is also a one year anniversary of the random weekly shroom so it's a special edition today with five maps apparently built by mush and maybe a slightly different format we will see when the warm-up is over sides are joined and will battle me Bes uh, beside of course all the other players as well oh, that's a tight one yeah sadly my speed is now set in stone with that checkpoint placement so this is an important corner here I need to get good exit speed. Hmm. Yeah, then let's see what I can do here. Very, very poor start, but then catching up. We have also three rounds per track, 444 points. Yes, then the points go for finalist. Yeah, I cannot really decide where to drift, but um, theoretically middle pole should be the best. One. I'm a bit cautious here in the start, pushing me quite far behind. And it was a super, super cautious ending drift. So again, only in second, but I survived it. Hello Chili. Without action keys on keyboard. Nice. Good one. So I guess then you weren't no sliding there in the start. Just speed sliding. So this was the first map. It's a good one for me. I mean, no random stuff in here. We already have a quarter of the point score that we need. Aha. Uh -huh. This part here is the... Like after the Bob's Lady exit, I couldn't really see what that is. That could be the most important part. We have again a warm up. Uh. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> okay. Nah. No. 
No, I'm not sure if I will survive this all the time. I I I I I I I Hated. <laughs> and that's in as well, and then nobody else, and hence we have a huge lead here. Oh, Antax is third again. Not losing too many points here. Took it now very safe here the ending. And yeah, it's fine. Another second place. Problem is that most likely the finalist mode will decide. So what I was talking last week. Um, when Heath was here and he was doing very well. Um, even though he was winning for a long time every round, I was uh, for a long time still within a points gap to him, where I just need one single round to get into finalist mode uh, then after him, so just one deny. Changed a little bit, then during the cup I had an also one bad round, so it became then two rounds. And still... Like for a long time it was even possible that even though I'm far behind him, we could have been... We could have gone into finalist at the same round, even that was doable. bad to have this in the last lap because now obviously multiple people make the ending like this time would have been good enough for second or third in the other rounds but um, of course not now but yeah I don't really have too much control with these pop slays overall even after the first five laps uh, it's just 30 points it was just 30 points to a sinker and untux so they were still in the range of one single round that they need to deny me if I get to finalist. Now Helsinka will even catch up quite a lot. And others will also catch up quickly. Like the point system um, worked now much better when we were less players in this cup and when we had then a different point system because of that. It worked pretty well there. But now with always the same people basically getting the top positions, that's again this thing where it doesn't really matter how good you play now. When you get finalists, you have maybe one round alone and then the others are also joining you in finalists. So getting through very quickly in finalists will decide it. But let's see, maybe they have bad maps, maybe I have bad maps. What is this? Oh, it's... Uh Weird. Hard to say what blocks we had there. Also there was free wheel, which I didn't even know, but it was not shown. Uh, 
that let's let's discover. Yeah, we have reactor boost, fragile, and free wheel. On penalty. So the thing is that fragile on penalty makes icy tires. The thing is, you couldn't really know that you will get into Fragile. So then we have Engine off, but we got Reactor to accelerate. Uh, it's called Weekly Shroom. The club and also the server, both is called Weekly Shroom. Yeah, just search for Shroom. Uh, first places are quite crucial, like Helsinka was not only 6th, and Antax also no, behind me. The first place is just 9 points better than what I just got. So if you want to create some gap to maybe have some more rounds alone in finalists, then you need to win rounds. You just need to win. Good thing I had a huge lead already, because the gear was then completely fucked up in the last turn. Now yeah, Hostile in second and Seitzer, okay, Helsinka only 25 points and Antax only 7 points. Hostile was actually close to Antax already, he had some good rounds. But yeah, apparently it's only 5 maps today. Which means we easily uh, get back into the rotation, at some point at least. The gear there was really an issue, but seemingly I understood something in the start much better than the others. Which helps me to create a bit of, uh, a, bit of a gap now. Actually, too bad I didn't uh, win also the first round. Only third there. And 1.4 seconds slower than what I drove now. Next map. Oh, a pipe map. Ooh. Yeah. Here's, of course, the thing if you want to win rounds, then you need to take risks, most likely. Hmm. 
What a map. Yeah, Seitzer is uh, truly trying his best on this map. It's more like RPG styled. He saved it as well, the same way. Like I saved the last turn so much and I look now at third place and so okay, third place is eight tenths behind, so yeah, I'm gonna stay in front of that. And didn't really fight for first because I thought he might uh, take it much more risky. And uh, either he fails and I win the round or, or he wins then by a bigger margin. Those were the two options I expected, but I didn't expect that I gained to him three hundreds. Like, I could have won this round then. <laughs> so, how are the other players right behind me uh, doing here? And that's good for me, they actually uh, lost points. Okay. Okay, this time I overtook V. That's good. And the two players behind me again with late finishes. Okay, still good points though. Like Antax gets still 23. <laughs> yeah, many people make mistakes here, many people fall down. Hostile got some yeah, 28 points, Salzinka only 17. Yeah, this is this is good. Like they're dropping now a little bit. That's helpful. I got this respawn. I hate respawns like this. Yeah, that was not bad. Especially it was pretty simple to win this round. Ah, damn it. But I am in finalist range, at least. I can reach finalist mode if I win the first round on the next map. But I could have had it much easier. Like I could have had a definite finalist basically. Not just only with a winning round. And I'm not sure if I win the round here. Here yeah, we have bumper and box lights. Bumper and box lights. That's the theme. Um, and here I might get an into final status and here I need to close it out as, of course. And first of all I want to get into final status with a win, but this is also the map I need to close it out. Oof. Jump pretty far on many of these box lights, I have to say. Sure, we will see.
Ah, important. I got that first place. I am finalist. So I have two chances on this track. And also helpful is the fact that Helsinka didn't uh, finish yet. And due to that winning round here, my fail on the previous map didn't matter anymore. It only mattered in a way that uh, the others got a few more points because I was not in the top places. Not quite. I mean, I had a decent start and I was leading. I was a tenth in front of Saitza, but of course, two bug slides were still um, there. It was uh, only a few hundreds in front of my first try. It was definitely a winnable round, I would say. Oh god. <laughs> I won. That was uh, lucky, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did basically the same thing twice. There is something that surprises me in this jump, that my car goes further to the right. Like I cannot start my uh, steering that early there, it seems. It's different than in the other jumps. <laughs> but yeah, I thought like, oh no, both finalist attempts I lose there, both times on decent runs I lose it there. I mean, actually I didn't really like that run, it was pretty poor in the beginning, I would think. But then it ended up... Then it ended up pretty, uh, yeah, good position still, but I think it wasn't actually great. I don't know if this checkpoint hit made it faster, somehow. I mean, I had still a pretty decent exit speed. Okay, people actually go inside. I see here. Zaitza can reach finalist mode if he wins this round. But that would only happen if the others in front will crash the finish. I mean, Helsinka is a little bit a favorite here. I think this full tech map is not perfect for Zaitza. They will reach finalist mode most likely in the, um, the next round, also basically have one chance on this track here. And also host here, like so triple fight. Well, you see, I wouldn't have that many uh, yeah, possible runs here until they reach finalists as well. And they were already losing quite a lot beforehand, but still it can go really quick that they all catch up to finalists. Also most likely we have a triple the situation. So it's important for Antax to score well 
And he was doing good here in the first rotation, this was his best map. But since then he actually dropped a lot. Yeah, Saito would have won this round, so if he had done well in the previous one as well. So Antax gets 8th place with this. The cool thing with Antax is that he has the chance uh, with a win in the next round with plus 40 points, which he needs to do in order to deny all the opponents, um, he would actually exactly get 444 with that. So it's up to him to deny and reach finalist himself. So we're gonna spectate him. He's in the mix, but we also have two other non-finalists in the mix. For Antax it would be important to win this round. So we have now also finalists coming into the final. <laughs> Will he make it? He will. <laughs> uh. An Antax is finalist. <laughs> Everyone. Literally everyone. So now, however, we have one very huge favorite for the win on this track, and that is Helsinka. Because he won all three rounds here, or did I win the first one? I'm not sure if I won the first round. Uh, yeah, I won the first round. I won it. Ah, okay, I drove the third round. Look at that. Ah. Most likely gained time on me there. But yeah, Helsinka was the second very close to me and then he won the other two rounds, so he is the favorite. If he gets one run through like he did in the first rotation, then he wins this. Doesn't take it that well now. But still up there. Katsi in the bobsleigh, of course, gaming. Oh well, that was very really good from Helsinka, but also from Katsi. Oh. Oh, cutscene? Nah. Oh, it was actually just 100. We didn't see them. We didn't see them. But them was only 100 behind Helsinka. Finished much further right. And uh, Katsi didn't know the ending. That was such a good run by Katsi. Holy moly. That was incredibly good. Like also the drift was made better, much more speed than Helsinka for the ending. I was not sure if Helsinka will even make it, but yeah, if you jump far to the left, it's easy. And Katsi had way more speed, but didn't jump to the left. And basically Katsi did the exact same mistake that I did in my warm-up. When I had my first run on this track, I did the exact same, because I thought the jump uh, is planned in a way that you jump perfectly into the finish. But that wasn't the case. Yeah, let's have a look at sight, so... Doesn't really look that good. Katsi is again far in front. Uh, will Katsi make it? Uh, we cannot see now. Let's go to host here. No, Katsi is nowhere to be seen. It is DNO winning. Katsi in fourth. Yeah, I'm not sure if any other finalist will come through here, but we have a new finalist. We have a new finalist with Dumb, and he could maybe do it and make the comeback. Which is of course the uh, little bit, yeah, lucky thing with this finalist format, because Dumb is way later in finalist status than uh, yeah, for example, um, them. then Seitzer and Hostil. 
So if we get that one bob slack corner, cuts he in the lead. Oh. So we have two non-finalists in front. Oh, he was not finalist by five points. If he had five points more, he could have gotten the podium position here. Oh, there we go. Some legs. So with five finalists, we surely will see uh, the third place now. I mean, this is kind of a skill map, I would say. And I actually don't really know who was the second best player on this track. I was myself a little bit surprised that winning on this map was so easy in comparison. And like it was such a big margin and I didn't even have a good ending, like I always had shit gear there. But seemingly I understood the middle good. <laughs> Someone crashed there on the inside of the wood. So I'm gonna spectate Dumb, who however has not the greatest start. But let's see who's in front after this turn. Ah, Dumb has a good approach, he will have good speed. But we have also Host here there, and Ian O. Katsi is the denier, Katsi doesn't know the ending maybe, I don't know when Katsi joined the server. But it's enough speed, I'm pretty sure. So Katsi denying three finalists. Ah, uh, that's of course, it prolongs this match a lot. Because Katsi still needs some rounds to actually get towards finalist mode as well. Keep the camera on dumb because he did pretty well. It was pretty outside in the first turn, which costs him a bit of time and good line. Okay, this is not working out. We have, yeah, we're gonna spectate Katsi fighting it out against Hostile. This is the battle here. Oh, that's a big crash. Hostile has the chance of his life and he touches as well. He's still ahead, but he might have a bad gear. Will he hold on to Normie? Yeah, he will. I think that Normie and just everyone is just in the slower gear anyway. And Hostia takes it. Finally, we have a third place. But <laughs> he also choked a bit. Everyone choked here. The other finalists were not doing too well. Like if you see how much Hostile already choked and uh, lost time in that ending and there's still such a big gap to many other players then... It is to be expected that none of the finalists is coming through here. Unless DNO makes it, Sykes is also in second, Vish is of course also finest and dumb as well, so Katsi has some work to do to catch that up. And we have a lot of fine lists in front. That looks good for DNO. We should take that. Katsi is actually getting all the others. But it's not enough for DNO. GG. Merci pour la cape moche. Oh.
Right, this is it. Eno fourth was C third, Hensinka second, and I got first. GG. On to another 50 editions.